are doing an interview series that I think I once spoke about in one of my videos. So today I have my friend Deborah. Hello, everyone. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first question: Describe what you do without saying what it is that you do. When you open a website and then you see these different colors, these pop-ups everywhere, you're watching a YouTube video and then suddenly it starts, I do those things. Yay! Okay, so what do you enjoy most about what you do? Um, what I enjoy most about my job is seeing the ads that are created like when I'm on a website and then a particular ad that I created pops up I get so excited and then I want to show everyone or oh, that adrenaline, that rush, that oh, it's such a fast paced job but I love it Yay! Okay so what did you say? <laughs> I studied at BSc Mathematical Science uh, measuring in applied math and pure math. Yay, I'm my friend of math, you Yay, just yeah. saying. <laughs> okay, so knowing that you did computer science, yeah. so if you were given a chance to do it again, would you do it? Um, now, yes, I would definitely do it because learning skills man, we need to empower ourselves. But Computer science for me the first time was super hard guys. I failed, I failed, but you have to keep moving. I graduated, so at least. So that, that's what we preach on this channel. We show whole thing. So did your degree prepare you for where you are right now or it's like neither here nor there? I was so surprised that um, marketing has numbers. And I'm still surprised even today, but like my job it requires a lot of analyzing, analyzing data. You are creating reports, you're looking at trends, you're looking at patterns, you're giving reasons for that particular pattern or what's going on. So it really did prepare me. Which, but it's so strange. Advertising and mathematics. Amazing, amazing. Um, knowing that the name of my channel is My Lady Stuff Space, right? And self-space comes from the vector self-spaces as a group of vectors um, in linear algebra. So, what is your favorite mathematical concept? Um, you guys are probably going to kill me, but my favorite mathematical concept is the theorem of Pythagoras. The simplest, the easiest. Um, I just love that theorem because it's you can see the application when you look at right angles, like on bridges. They used um, Theorem of Pythagoras to calculate all those sides. So I love it. It's simple, but you know what? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you were to give advice to your young self about, you know, career, education and all of that, like what would that advice be? Um, that advice would be just go with it like um when i chose to study mathematics it was um i would say i was sort of pressurized not necessarily pressurized but because at the end of the day i did make the decision but um i was thinking that oh once i get that mathematical degree i'm gonna get a job everything is just gonna fall into place and it didn't so what i would tell my younger self is do what you love like as cliche as it sounds, but do what you love. Because there's no guarantee that even if you take that archery, that or oh, if you take that CA or if you don't like it and then you, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get a job or whatever. So just do what you love. Like just the world is your oyster. I mean definitely I mean. So what was your like whole experience when starting your very first job like as a professional um, and like in the sense of like a graduate program and stuff what did you do there and what was your experience? So my first job I worked for the education sector and um, when I started working I just realized how much they don't teach you at school actually because when you get there they teach you the simplest thing like writing an email like 
as simple as it sounds when you actually have to write a formal email that thing is it's so scary like you have to check your spelling, the format, and those are things that they don't teach you at school. Um, it was scary. The experience was very scary when I started my first job. And can I just say the money was so small? I was so surprised. Like I've got a math degree and I'm earning this much. No. Yeah, but but I you learned a lot. Like I did, I did, I did, I did learn. Like it teaches you. Um, the simple things that school doesn't teach you. Mm. Okay, so what what did you do in the job? Um, the job I was a data analysis intern, and we just um, we were analyzing data, formulating reports. Really so it's like similar to what you're doing now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Full circle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So final question: What would you define to be like? success to you like what is your ultimate ultimate end goal in life i know that like people change and grow and stuff yes. but like at this point in the shooting this video what is like your ultimate end goal um, my ultimate end goal would be because this is a new career path that i've started that i would like to focus more on that and not to worry like can i not worry <laughs> can i not worry about mm -hmm. anything i think that's the ultimate for me Definitely no worry, like just a carefree life, guys. Like, top life. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got like a three like question. What, what? It was supposed to be more, but anyway, do not judge me, okay? So, one thing I want to know do you ask um, questions or you just do away with what you know? I assume, guys, I prove things by contradiction, the mathematics. The, the mathematician in me. I assume, I assume. We'll see when we get there. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which one is it gonna be? Loud neighbors or noisy neighbors? Um, I think loud neighbors, guys. <laughs> loud neighbors all the way, guys. No, we don't want cameras. We don't want people who are in our business. No, thank you. Oh, breathing like, cameras. <laughs>
on the screen. So thank you so much for Jay with me. I enjoyed it. This was amazing. I'll definitely be back, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.